All right, we're back at the conservation area and I'm hoping to find some sign guys. My goal is to look around the area and really break it down. My friend, those are carry man is coming out to meet me. That's just what he wants to go by. He doesn't want to use his real name. He's got a pretty important job and he doesn't want this to interfere with it. But he's an outdoorsman researcher and he's coming out here to meet with me. Kind of wish I would have brought the new parabolic, but I did bring my thermal device. So my plan is to look over some of these structures that I found off the side of the road and hopefully they'll lead me to some new sign. So let's get out there and see what we can find guys. A cherry pick spot that I created my own trail because there's uh -huh. no trail there. And about on my fourth trip in and out of there, they fucking put an X across my fucking trail. Really? And that dude, that my, that really raised things for me. Yeah. Well, this is like blowing my mind because I haven't been here since the last time we were out here, and that's right where we were hanging out at with the parabolic, right there. This is the little. Yeah. Where we come to hang out. Okay. Very cool. Now, and all the deer are in here too. An X. I just had another guy from Connecticut message me today. He said, Joe, he goes, well, what does the X mean? You know, is it stay out or is it welcome? Or one of the other things I looked up was an old Native American thing, meaning X. It's, a, it's, it's coming over a mountain path. Mm -hmm. Up high or hills. So is, this is up high. Is up high going down? Can you get to the next valley? I don't know. But... I think it means stay out. That's west. The sun's dropping in the west. Yeah. That's south. So that one falling this way would be possibly weather related. Is there another one shooting across? Yeah. Do you think... Oh, look at that. There's one going opposite. Really? Do you think it's possible they could use that to like tell time? Like it has something to do with the sun. Not really. I don't like know. A poor man's sundial? Yeah. Maybe. It's like kids, it's time to get home when the yeah, sun the is past the X. <laughs> I didn't see the one falling over till now. They're yeah. Crossed. They're crossed right there over the trail. Yeah, let's go check it out and see what we can find. There's a deer scrape right there. So the deer have been in here heavy. We're hoping the Sasquatch here. Oh, it is. They are. Dang it. So what this is, this one here, this is this natural. That has just fallen over. Yeah. There's a bunch of them in there actually. These little skinny ones get trapped and can't get sunlight. Uh -huh. They last a few years and just die. Oh. That's how it goes. Poor little guy who never could reach the sun. I know. <clears throat> but look what the blizzard did. The yeah. blizzard knocked down all these green needles to the ground. Mm -hmm. The howling winds for two and a half days, 35 below wind chill. Yeah, it was cold. Just this place like a leaf. This is weird looking for middle of winter to leave all these green needles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is kind of weird. Let me get I'm going to teleport, man. Yeah. It is a circle. Um, they, I've noticed they put down perimeter, perimeters, like squares. Yeah, this looks like a little... I'm going to go sit inside. Yeah. Got like a little halo. Really cool. <laughs> it does. That is kind of unusual. Maybe if you step in there, it'll like catch your foot and like pull you all the way up. <laughs> I love these pines. This is pines. Yeah. There's something magical about pines, man. There really is. I think the cedar trees and the pine trees were considered sacred to the Native Americans. I noticed that's the special wood that Steve will burn. Oh, Joe, notice these rings around these trees. It's been here for years. They put them up fresh when these structures were fresh. And I was like, oh man, they're gonna cut all this down. And they never cut anything. It's as if they just marked it to say, don't cut any of this. You know, I don't know. Well, I mean, if you ask me, this force is thin enough. It's on top of a ridge, you know, 
As soon as they get a lot of these saplings falling dead like crazy, then they'll kind of come clear out. <laughs> they'll just come down. I don't think this was here last time we were here, was it? Yeah. This was here? Mm -hmm. I found this structure area when it was all freshly made. It was so cool. Now it's all falling apart. It almost looks natural now. Almost. Yeah. Look at those dust needles blowing all over the place. Mm -hmm. like somebody cut the grass. Yeah. <clears throat> all falling from up there. Okay, that would, that's a good test to get rid of a lot of widow makers. Mm -hmm. We have uh, 48 hours of pure polar vortex high winds ripping through here. Oh, I'm sure. Knock down all the crappy dead trees. Mm -hmm. a safer to camp now. So you have your parabolic microphone in there? Yeah, in the okay. Yeah, it's kind of awkward carrying that sucker. Hmm. Maybe some type of writing on here. We can set up right here if you want. Yeah, yeah, I've done that one. I didn't bring my show far, so I'll do a Ozark or a Colorado screen. Yeah. With what little vocal cords I got. We'll scare whatever hunters are in here. Yeah. Oh, there is something down there. Yeah, yeah, I hear something down there. No, well, that's what the parabolic's for. So I set up my thermal device on a tripod and Joe is setting up his parabolic microphone. I have the same one, I just didn't bring it out today. You guys will see it soon, but Here's the that is it. Dandy feature of this, uh... Let's get this in here. Right there. Yeah, there it is. So the goal is to listen first. You mm -hmm. hear what the activity is. Then, when you hear something, toggle the thermal on, look, and you get a lot longer lead time knowing if it's coming. Mm -hmm. So that's the beauty. Robert Kreider, Kreider Exploration, like his little gadget, parabolic plus the little thermal mount right above the top. Yeah, it's genius. <laughs> it works great though. I'll have to show you my, my thermal device. I think it's got a few different settings on it than yours. But yeah, let's let's get to work. Turn this stuff on, see what happens. Yep. We'll have to do some squatch calls. Alright, we're just gonna pan around and try to look for a heat signature. No. <laughs> There's some red back there, but I guess it's the sun. Yeah. yeah. Here's what I've learned with the uh, with the sun and the wood. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get heat on the trees. I watched the second part of a uh, small town monsters, and they ran thermal out there and he was saying that they couldn't see anything with the thermal yeah. he was saying they couldn't see anything with the thermal because the trees like the conifer trees they hold their the needles and stuff so it wouldn't penetrate to the forest floor so they're oh, flying around right. all all over alaska yeah and they couldn't see nothing all you see is trees yeah but that was his thing he, he was disappointed he's like this does not work as well as we thought it was going to so well, if you look at the canopy, i'm glad i didn't buy one Especially up north, dude, it's, it, is, it is a conifer canopy. Yeah. It's a... You have to use it in certain areas like power line strips and big fields and river bottoms and stuff like that. Yeah. Wildlife. 
ducks yeah. and crossway areas because there mm -hmm. is where you got your major rivers that come in and you got these creeks to feed in like the sidewalks and the power line trackways those are the sidewalks yeah and I, i'm pretty convinced that they just get sick and tired of pl trudging through thick forest i think so They'd too rather take a trackway or a dry creek bed for miles that's like yeah. the, the trip down to the supermarket yeah they seem to know if someone's around so they yeah. they probably do it when they know no one's watching yeah like here in the ozark it seems like these dry creek beds that feed into the major ozark streams mm -hmm. they're all over the place but those are the little sidewalks yeah and the deer will sip out of those things too yeah they will So tomorrow is New Year's? New Year's Eve. Well. 2023. Happy 2023 in yeah. advance. What's your New Year's resolution for Sasquatch this year? Have a handful of Class A sightings again in 2023. Yeah. I want to go to the Mark Twain and really break that section of it down and see what we can find. The caves, man spots yeah. ready to count. there really is what are we waiting for here are we waiting for the sun to go down or activity to start both well i think we just need to start making a little noise let them know we're here mm -hmm. um, but yeah let the sun kind of go down a little bit uh, and then you know like to say right when it gets dark mm -hmm. when they start coming in so let the sun up still we've got I'll say about 20 minutes maybe yeah so it's pretty nice out here it's about 55 degrees for new year's eve not bad considering we had a near-death experience with blizzards last week yeah i feel like they're around but it's always like this just desolate <laughs> very lucky to be dead quiet tonight cause yeah you can hear a lot farther the audio picks up a lot better yeah There's it does any remote anything going on you know, you're going to hear it. I think they're they're a hybrid of Neanderthal. Because, like, the rock breaking, or the stick breaking, the rock throwing, well, even traveling the, in clans. A lot of apes that just beat up on rocks and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, they have human behavior, but then they still have primate behavior. But when I mention primate, people get mad. They're not a primate, damn it. But I, I'm just saying the rock throwing. You know what I mean? They stink <laughs> sometimes. And the they're structures. Really, really good little documentary that I saw. Um, there was an orangutan someplace. In a I think it was in Asia. Mm -hmm. And this orangutan was on the shore of this river watching these fishermen fish. Mm -hmm. And they were using sticks to s throw spears down at these fish in this river. And this orangutan was just sitting on the shore wa watching this small group of fishermen throw these sticks for weeks, months, it was just there. And you know what? Now they're spearing fish. That orangutan picked up the stick and started throwing his fish after a while. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to be the smartest genius primate, in my opinion, just to start using stool tools. Yeah. Rocks, sticks. There's monkeys in the Philippines. If you look at them the wrong way, if you flinch at them and just irritate them, you're going to get pelted. They will single you out and they will throw rocks at you yeah they'll rain hell down on your day that's how the holler and holler monkeys like are rock throwing squatches and they're good with sticks they're good with rock clacks you know you keep finding stuff in these areas collections of rocks well we we kept uh finding are you recording now yeah okay we found the uh, those holes you found one the area i research mostly is littered with these holes and if you go, you find any, there's a dead forest tree right there. Mm -hmm. Right there. Yeah, I stuck a recorder in there one day. You did. <laughs> uh, but if that were down in a river bottom with fer fertile, you know, soil, mm -hmm. and there might even be a grub hole there, but at the root wad of a dead log, you go to that root wad, especially down in a river bottom area, mm -hmm. and if you find a hole right at the root wad, that's, that's step one. Find the one with the hole. You found the one with the hole? Okay. Is there a stick hanging out? If there's a stick hanging out of that hole, that's the tool. They dig that hole, and then they poke for grubs. Yeah. And they leave the stick. They always leave the stick. 
and I've got, I found dozens, I quit counting. Uh, there's holes with sticks hanging out. What animal is going to go dig a hole and leave a stick hanging out? Yeah. You decide, folks. Right. I interviewed and a guy I'm not from. the only researcher that's found that, a very well-known researcher to our south. He's got the same thing going on. Yeah. He's got a, his clan he's habituating for 10 years, and that's what he discovered last summer and showed up at the conference and it's described to everybody. So uh, one of the young guys we brought out who's been with me, I explained all this to him because he was a little skeptical, you know, had to show him the basics. As soon as as soon as that other researcher got up and started talking about the grub holes, he said, and there's sticks hanging out of every one. Mm -hmm. He looked over at me like, yeah. Yeah. I interviewed a guy from Washington. He said they come down off the Olympics um, mountains and um, on the shores they'll dig for clams with sticks. And locals yeah. have seen them multiple times. Or they see them all the time. I guess it's like a common thing in Washington. So, you know, you got to think of yourselves like if you were a human and all the supermarkets closed and there was no farms and you had to survive. Gunfire. Chain range. You had to survive on raw nature and you didn't know how to cook mm -hmm. it was raw everything what's in your and by the way there's no game in the area where's your next where's your next basic food supply gonna be roam around look at the dead log look around for grubs eat grubs like jelly beans <laughs> you know? yeah absolutely there's a whole ecosystem underneath they the ground in the military survival schools for if you're going to go into uh, flight training Mm -hmm. What do they do? They drop them off and they make them eat insects for a week. Mm. Protein. You chew some insects before you become a pilot. Yeah. So, anyway, they're just living a whole shadow life in pure, raw nature. Yeah. You got to cross out of the burbs and, you know. Yeah, absolutely. You can zoom in on the little things they're eating and doing. Yeah. Ooh. I could hear that gunshot, this sucker. Yeah. I'm glad I turned the volume down. Dude, it gets pretty magical back there. If you go by that shooting range, you'll find like stacked up rocks and there's a big spring and a bunch of caves. But I mean, it's a restricted zone. So no one ever goes back there. But I seen they some. They, 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 they like hanging around firing ranges. Yeah. For the show. Yeah. And these structures are pretty close to that shooting range right down the road. sound like something walking <laughs> I couldn't quite tell if it was bipedal but we are recording audio what you got Camping group and David Paulides finally convinced me to get one of those. What is it? That's a oh, SOS. Personal locator. Yeah. Beacon. Well, that's cool. Satellite. Now, here's the cool thing about this you gotta turn it on. Mm -hmm. Right there. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. so it's on. It'll stay on for like at least a week or two weeks straight, I think. Really? As the shit hits the fan. Dang. That'll send a satellite to all the rescue services wherever you're at in the world. Hmm. Okay. This lets you know. This is the check-in button. Hmm. You hit the push the blue check boxes. It'll send a text to my wife and my son. It'll Dang. send a text and email that I'm okay. I've checked in and it sends a GPS position of where I'm at. Yeah. I just hit Well, that, that could be handy. If they text me back, you turn on your phone, open up the app, and I can just use the regular text. It uses this as Bluetooth. And so I send my messages from my phone through this, through satellite to them. 
Yeah. He's the only one that'll do that. Yeah. You can use your phone. This is just like a transmitter to satellite, but your phone's doing all the thumb driving. Hmm. Yeah, that's but pretty at cool. At minimum, I'm okay. Uh, this lets you know if somebody texted you. This will show up blue. Hmm. Open your phone. Sure, got a satellite message. Dang. How, yeah. You got to pay for like a monthly service. Yeah, it's like 20 bucks a month. And I said, you know what? I'm going off enough, enough out of my own, especially in my local area, in and out. Mm -hmm. It's the least you could do. Bring one of these. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah, for sure. If I go missing, that that'd just be all right. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, we got something. What is that? You might want to turn on your thermal. Oh yeah, it's something peeking back there. Oh yeah, we got a head, dude. No. Yeah. No, dude. Look at this. All right. So, just look right there to the left of your of your thermal device through the woods straight that way. There's something over there, like peeking at us. I don't know if it's an owl or like something. You recording? Yeah, I think so. Okay, good. Yeah, it says recording. I see it. What is it? Let me focus. Yeah, that's not. That's a heat signature. Yeah. You know, it's funny. It's kind of. Oh, look at that. It's up, it's up kind of high. Yeah. What the hell? That's interesting. That is interesting. There you go. Yeah. I'm glad you recorded it. Yeah. You got your audio turned on. Mm-hmm. Did it disappear? Yes, it did, huh? I wonder what it was. I wish that cat would go take his new rifle and go have a glass of champagne with it. Right. Who was that? I heard a limb break or something. Whoa, there's something going on down here. Is there? Oh, yeah. Behind us, too. your clip and go home. <laughs> America! Something's breaking shit over here. Yeah. You see a buck. Well, I'll get my antlers off. This is this is antler shedding season. Fine. Yeah. I saw that buck turning over me. I heard something behind us too, but it could be the wind clipping pine trees. Stomping and banging shit back here. Really? Yeah, it's getting getting pretty darkish. Yeah. The range should rifle range should shut down. Right. If that heat signature pops back up, it's definitely something watching us. Yeah. It, I couldn't really tell. I don't know what it was. What it, I mean, it looked like kind of like a tree hole with little eyes, like maybe a couple mm -hmm. owls sticking out. Yeah. But I learned when you look at an owl. The face of an owl won't light up. Only the eyes do. Really? You only see two glowing oh, okay. dots. okay. With the thermal? Yeah. Oh, wow. It looks like a an owl up in the trees, high up, about 10 mm -hmm. feet up. Looks like a squatch, but there's no body. Yeah. It's just two floating eyes. Yeah. They'll move back and forth on a branch. I think that's well, maybe what that was. Try to, try to keep... 
keep your feet planted because mm. this thing's picking up all kinds of like leaf chatter. Okay. And just rotate your waist around. There's a heat signature straight that way. Still there? No, this is a different one. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hear something loud. Huh? Yeah, that heat signature like made that sound, dude. That wood sound. I see it. Dude, I see it. I don't know what it is. What is it? I don't know. It keeps ducking. It's way back there on that other ridge. Yeah, turn your thermal on. There's three. You hear that? It like smashed a tree. If that's a Sasquatch or some animal watching us. Oh yeah, that's that's. Do you think that's turkey or Sasquatch? Something. Dude, something's tearing things up. There's some crazy loud shit going on. Yeah. Like trees being pushed over, like rotten trees. You see that? It's break they're breaking shit. Dude, they're breaking shit. Yeah, they're breaking shit. Dude, I can see them. I just can't see their whole body. Things might get hairy, Joe. Literally. I'm gonna zoom in and see. They might make their way over here. Hope so. Yeah. Is your camera still aiming back there? It's aiming towards us. Oh, your thermal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is, that, is that glowing spot still in the tree? It was until it got quiet. There was three of them. Joe, I gotta tell you. All right. So there was this moment where it was just a, a red spot. And then I could see like the whole form, like it stuck out behind the tree and you heard crack when it did that. Yeah. You get something that doesn't look like a deer. Yeah. 
out it's a bear because there's not that many <laughs> yeah. might have got it back into the squash dude I think so Well, that makes me think that heat signature we saw over here. It's a moving heat signature, that's yeah. one thing. Yeah. yeah I'm scared. I've never heard so many trees get smashed. <laughs> I wonder if there's structures over there now. Like they put up an axe maybe? You know what I mean? Some arches and stuff. I saw heads though, I'm telling you. We can go walk back down here. Yay, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of doom. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tonight we'll walk straight at it. I'm scared. We'll take down their axes and make our own axes. All right. We'll do a pea circle around the area. Mark our spots. Get out of my spots. They're gone. And the sound's gone, too. Isn't that interesting? The, the red signature is gone. And zero trees being pushed over. I'm pretty sure... Um, oh, no. There's, there's still a heat. There's something up there still. There's a signature over there for sure. that thing roll, I guess. Coming from a spot where the 360 is cracking. <laughs> what time you got to get back to the to the wife? I told her I'd be back home around 9ish or so. Oh, okay. Well, if that's them, they really tree peak because it's like the red's like hiding behind the tree. Is it? Yeah. You still see it? Just like, it's really far away, just like a, a spot of red. Yeah, hey, they'll do a, they'll stand there and very slowly move that shoulder in and out. Yeah. I mean, just like real creepy slow, like it might take a minute or two. That's what it's doing. It's like you see the signature and then it hides behind the tree. Oh, yeah, it hid behind the tree. Yeah. Oh, then there he goes, poking its head out. I didn't like that whistle. Oh, there he goes. So they can really see us from I a long ways. Mine. I got so excited with mine, I wanted to make it really freak <laughs> out and just scream at us. Yeah. 
and I did a big whoop. And that, that sucker froze and took, he stopped what he was doing and uh -huh. he went back in the woods and left. Oh, wow. So I'm just a warning about whistles, man, if you get too excited. All right. <laughs> you can watch them and record them, but as long as you get, I don't know, it's a 50-50. It's you know what I mean? Yeah. He could, he could engage or she could engage, check you out, make some noises, whistle back, or screw it, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. And in my case, it was screw it, I'm out of here. Yeah, that's really far away, whatever it is. Now the sun was off your right shoulder. Mm -hmm. So the heat signature you're seeing is on the right side of the tree. Mm -hmm. It could be heat from the sun on that one spot. It could be. And the wind blowing gently. The weird thing is that it disappears and then it comes back. So it could be the wind. Yeah, it could be. It kind of... If you move your little thermal up and down, that that heat signature will kind of shimmer a little, like mm -hmm. a flame, and go in and out. So what, what you want to look for is the shape of a body, like its shoulder, its head, and moving in and out like a like a monkey, man. All right, <laughs> yeah. Well, there's something definitely there, I think. You still see it? Yeah, it's just a, a red dot way back there. Yeah, I see a, I see a red dot up in the tree back there. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's like a hot, maybe a little hot knot or something like that, you know? Uh-huh. Could be a head of a bird or no. Yeah, it's hard to say. There was three, though. There was more earlier. No, nothing. We can. So as the trees ease up, I can hear really well with these trees. Yeah. I can hear the trees real well, so when they die down really good, mm -hmm. they'll let her rip. Okay. Let me know when you think it'll be a good time. I think it's a good time. Gotta warm up the hands. <laughs> what do you got? I don't know if it's the gentle wind or if something's walking behind us. Could be.
Still the heat signature straight up. Still there? No, that's a different one. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hear something. No, that's a different one. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hear something. No, that's a different one. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hear something loud out yeah, there. Yeah, the heat signature like, made that sound different. But what sound? Okay, let me turn my thermometer. Oh fuck. You hear that? Oh yeah. There's some crazy loud shit going on. They might make their way over here. Hope so. Yeah.